I'm Dane Muldoon, Senior Sales Engineer at Supply Partners, Australia's leading technical distributor of solar and energy storage products. What's this? This is a Clenergy clip lock clamp. It's designed to wrap around the roof profile, clamp it on both sides securely, and then upon which you install the rest of your racking and then your PV modules. Uh, typically used with the cross connector clamp that goes on here. And this is one of three different clamps, which are all referred to as clip lock clamps. You can see this particular one, very similar, but this one's a little bit smaller. So what is the problem with clip lock roofs? There are two things actually. The number one problem with clip lock roofs is that it's difficult to identify what particular profile a clip lock roof is. Uh, this larger of the clamps is actually used on seven different roof profiles and so they all look similar but the engineering between them can be quite different and the number of clamps you need in a given area can be quite different as well depending on the roof profile. So the first issue with clip lock roofs is which one are you working on and the manufacturer should know this but if they can't confirm then you should be looking to get an engineering test done, a pull-out test, to work out what particular profile it is. The second problem we have with clip lock roofs is designing the racking installation correctly so that we have a risk-free installation. And one of the issues there is that um, when you look at how a clip lock roof is installed or a concealed fixing roof is installed, First of all, the clips are put down onto the purlins, then the sheet is laid over the clips and the installer then walks through and presses the sheet down over the clips. And those small clips underneath the sheet are the weak point of the overall installation. It's not the PV modules or the rail or the clamps or the sheet itself or the purlins underneath. It's the clips holding the sheet to the purlins. And here's where it gets a bit concerning for installers. A lot of racking manufacturers completely ignore that point of failure in their engineering. Reading from a Clangy competitor's document, it says, the roof on which the racking will be installed must have the capacity to resist the combined design dead load and live load per footing. Now the dead load is the weight, largely we can ignore that the weight of a PV array is relatively small on a per square meter basis. But the live load refers to the uplift underneath the modules during a high wind event. And at that time, if you don't have enough clamps on the roof, then you're putting too much pressure in individual points on the roof. And that's when the clips underneath the roof sheet itself can fail. By comparison, in Clenergy's latest engineering documentation, it says, uh, note number two, the spacing information in this document has been designed to be compliant with the capacity of the blow items. The clip lock clamp, the roof sheet, and the fixing clips between the roof sheet and the purlin. So in comparison to other manufacturers, Clenergy is taking that weak point, that failure point of the roof sheet into account, and that is allowing them to provide the most comprehensive engineered solution for concealed fixing roofs in Australia. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick explanation. There's plenty more over at supplypartners.com.au. See you next time.